nursery is meant for forestry species in tropical countries faces problems of damage of seedlings by field crickets field crickets to a large extent damage the seedlings of important commercial tree species during growing seasons or mid summer when population of cricket increases crickets generally reveal their presence by surface tunneling and cut the collar region of seedlings dragging to their burrows this is a common behavior of cricket that is garrulous species the size of a cricket is 12 to 30 mm in length shortened wing that exposes the abdomen crickets are known for chirping noise male use the species characteristics chirping to attract female of their own species crickets are nocturnal but daytime they eagerly search for hiding place shelter or a burrow that is dark moist and warm place species of genus garrulus dig burrows by themselves uses mouth parts to bite off the soil and remove it with hind legs the burrows are shelter for predators like birds and lizards for seasonal mating during seasons from may to june male and female meet and lay hundreds of eggs into soil crickets have chewing mouth parts and capable of destroying succulent to lignified seedlings of commercially important tree species in forest nurseries they do enormous damage to the species like terminalia arjuna corcus species chucrasia tabularis and almost all type of seedlings the wasp glorion erurium commonly known as steel blue cricket hunter belongs to the order hymenoptera The wasp is about 1 to 1.5 inch long, beautiful, shining, much brighter in metallic violet blue color. Mandible is single tooth, having dark smoky wings. They have big eyes, long spiny legs that assist in digging the soil. and pointed mandibles for holding their prey they are solitary hunting wasp but the females are dangerous having stingers The midsummer is the season of solitary wasp. The female cricket spend their days searching for cricket to paralyze and transport to the burrow or tunnel for hatching its egg. The wasp is a busy worker. The search goes on at different locations at different places just to find out the prey find out the cricket The search of the wasp goes on to find the cricket to locate the cricket 
at different burrows, different holes. Sometimes and also need the share of the hunted meat from the wasp. There's a competition. Finally, the search ends. The wasp knows that this is the place where the cricket is hidden. The wasp makes its surgical strike First, inside the tunnel where the cricket is hidden, its jumping legs are instantly paralyzed and the fight for survival of cricket goes on. The cricket tries to come out of a tunnel struggling for its life. struggles to come out. However, the trick cricket is out of its burrow. Cricket's leg is already paralyzed. Now, the valves gives the final touch. The cricket is now attacked on the thorax with great insistence and precision. It inserts a sting in the throat. This is the vicinity of the central nervous system. The venom placement never fails and the cricket becomes totally motionless paralyzed, deactivated. The hunter's job is done. The surgical strike is over. Finally, the again inspects the hole, the burrow for the final placement. The cricket is now dragged by the wasp and is stored back in its own burrow. The wasp, now inside the burrow, lays its egg on the cricket's abdomen, dorsolaterally. Then the entrance is temporarily plugged with the loose soil. So similarly, again many surgical strikes is been done by the wasp. She brings the prey to the tunnel. She first drop it at or near the entrance and inspect the burrow. She drags her prey inside the burrow and lays an egg on the underside of the body of the victim.
similar process is been done by the wasp routinely the wasp does not bother for even huge paralyzed body of a cricket it drags the huge body with that enthusiasm in an accurate way that's the energy it possesses with the wasp the time for placement of the cricket for laying the egg the job is done after placing the cricket in the tunnel it lays the egg the egg hatches the larva and larva are carnivorous feed on crickets spend 10 to 11 days on feeding and then pupates in the tunnel nature has given this biological control which has been very much balanced biological control of insect is a bit more difficult it needs sufficient beneficial insects at correct time to contract undesirable insects 